Hey, this is Derek Lipsy coming to you live from our office. We are doing some more cold calls. Today is Tuesday. As you can hear in the background, this LA is working. This is an act off office. We are all calling on the phone. As you can see above, this is an open concept office, sort of like a bullpen of uh, a newsroom. So everybody has everything. It's crazy. I'm going to try to get someone on the phone and see if we can't make some magic. Let's see if we can uh, pick this up and grab someone on the phone here. Yeah. Hello, I'm looking for Jim. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking. Uh, who's this? Hey, Jim, it's Derek Keller Williams Real Estate. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. I'm on the road. How can I help you? Well, you know, I was giving you a quick call because I saw that your house had sort of come off the market as an expired listing, and I was just giving you a call to see what your plans were for getting the home back on the market and getting it sold. Well, I appreciate the phone call. I've had a lot of calls from real estate agents. You know, it almost sounds like you guys all have the same script over there. Um, you know, on the remarks on the MLS page, it says, do not bother me. I'm just going to keep the home off the market. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me, Jim. And I, I hate to be in a position to have my home come off the market and get a lot of phone calls, as I imagine you're getting now. Hey, I'm just curious. Were you guys having any luck with it on the, when it was on the market with people coming to look at it? Obviously not. I mean, you know, we, we didn't sell the property. We've been on the market for six months. But hey, I'm on the road, and I really don't like talking on my cell phone while I'm driving. Can you call me back a little bit later? Yeah, certainly. I'll make, I'll make it very quick. I was just giving you a call because when I saw the home come off the market, I was wondering about it a little bit more. Did I mean, if I had a buyer, would you be open to an offer from the buyer, or what's the situation with that, Jim? I don't know. I think we're just going to go ahead and keep the market, or keep the home off the market and give it some time. Uh, you know, just kind of wait for the market to get better. It looks like... You know, with the uh, you know, with the government being able to work the deal out, and, and it may look like the uh, unemployment uh, may end up going down and jobs may be going up. Yeah, that definitely makes sense, and certainly an option of yours. Hey, if, if the home had sold when you guys were on the market, where were you planning to move to? Uh, you know, we were looking to just actually move out of state, North Carolina specifically, where we're looking to move to. Oh, North Carolina. That's exciting. What takes you down that way? Uh, wife, family, in-laws live out there. And, you know, we just really wanted to be closer to family now as we're getting older. Yeah, all right. So closer to family, kind of the in-laws, and just kind of sort of be in a better, better environment? Yeah, you know, overall, the economy is doing much better over there, too. Right, yeah. You know, the home values are still pretty low there, so I know what you lose on this one. You certainly would make up on that one if you lose any at all. Can I ask you, how long have you been at this house for? Uh, you know, we've been here about 12 years. 12 years, okay. And in your mind, what's the time frame to get down to North Carolina? Well, you know, we'd like to have been there, you know, now, you know, by summertime. Right, right, right. Okay, so you want to be down by, by summertime with the family. Right. Now, is the only thing stopping you from getting down there, down to North Carolina in the summertime with your family and just enjoying life with the better economy, the, the sale of this house? Yeah, you know, the price we need from the home. Okay, and the price you need from the home, right. It has to make sense financially for you guys to get down that way. Yeah, I mean, else we won't do it. All right, and, and in your mind, what's the time frame to be down there by? Uh, whatever, whenever we sell the home. Okay, so if it takes a few months, you're flexible there. Yeah, I mean, we're not hurting, you know, I'm not desperate. You know, it's just something that my wife really wants to do, and, you know, happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> you know, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking on the phone while I'm driving. Uh, why don't you just call me back later on this evening? Absolutely. What's a good time to call you, five or six? I mean, you know, you call me around six, I guess. All right, last question. I guess I'm just curious. I mean, I've seen the price of the home, how long it's been on the market, and all the rest of it. How did you pick the agent you listed with? Uh, you know, I don't, my wife picked them. Your wife did? Oh, good for you. Okay. And what was he saying as to why the home hadn't sold yet? You know, a lot has to do with the economy, the market, really no buyers. Uh, you know, they're short sale now, and bank-owned properties, and my property is neither of the, of the two, so. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, it, I'm looking at the photos online. I can see you guys take care of it. Uh, I see the finished basement, the in-ground pool. Um, you know, you guys use all modern colors that I see builders using now. I see you have the granite countertops and all that. Uh, I'm surprised to have to see the home actually sit there. Were you guys getting any kind of offers at all? No. No, okay. So if you decide to go back on the market, that's something you want to change immediately. Change what? If you put it back on the market, it's something you want to change immediately, meaning you want to get offers to get the home sold. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't want, I don't want to deal with any lowball offers, but if we got a good solid offer, uh, I mean, we would consider accepting it. Well, you guys are on the market now for four seventy-five. I'm just curious if I had a buyer walk there or a buyer show up at your door with four, four hundred, four twenty-five cash, would you consider that offer? Absolutely not. You wouldn't. What what would your counter be to that offer? I'd like to see an offer closer to four sixty. Okay, so at four sixty, let's say you got a, a person to come give you four sixty, maybe even a little bit more. You said you'd take that money down to North Carolina. Would you be buying down there, or would you rent for a while? Uh, we own some property down there. We're probably we're considering building on that land we own. Nice. Okay. Well, you know, I'd say this, that we are in a tough market. I understand why your home didn't come off. Most good homes don't sell the first time around. It's usually the second or the third time, depending on the agent they get and the quality of that. You said your wife picked the last agent, so is it fair to say that this time it's your turn to pick the agent? I mean, if we do decide to put the home on the market, then, uh, I mean, her and I would discuss that. Okay. So let's do this. If you guys are going to put the home back on the market at some point, I'd love to come down and give you a fresh perspective of what can be done or how you can get the home sold. Are you around today at 5 or tomorrow at 6 better for you, Jim? You know, I, I, I haven't just talked to my wife about this. And uh, if it's something we want to go ahead and, and go with, then, uh, then we'll give you a call. Is this the number I can call you back on? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. And how long have you guys been married for, Jim? Uh, almost 20 years. 20 years. Wow, okay. Well, let me ask you this. You probably know her very well. What do you think she's going to say when you say, hey, honey, i got a proven plan to get us down to North Carolina? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she'd be excited, but also she'd probably be a little, little bit reluctant. You know, the home day not the first time. Well, let, let's do this. Before you guys go ahead and commit to keep it off and potentially lose thousands of dollars of your equity that are in the property now, let me come by for 20 minutes. Uh, I can come by tomorrow at 5 or at 6, whatever's better for you. Call your wife today. If she says, after you tell her you've got a proven plan to get the home sold, if she says, honey, it doesn't make sense to work with a realtor that can just to North Carolina, call me back and we'll cancel it. If not, I'll see you today at 4.30. I mean, I'm sorry, I'll call you at 4.30, let you know I'm on the way. Well, what do you think that home is worth? I mean, you think we can sell it at that price point? I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't seen the property yet. It's hard to give you an idea what it's worth until I actually get in there. Do you think price might be an issue with it? Well, that's what my previous agent said. Yeah, I noticed that you guys did a lot of price breaks when you had it on the market. Um, is that the same approach you want to use this time, or would you rather just price it right and, and hold tight? Well, I don't think we did a lot. I think we did one or two. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I saw it. I, I, I'm looking at it now, and it looks like there was three done on it. Um, did you authorize all those price changes? No. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's something we're going to change immediately if we decide to work together. Every time we do a price break, it's authorized, uh, and hopefully we won't have to do any at all. So our appointment should only take about 20 minutes for me to come down and take a look at the property to see if I'm right for you and it's right for me. And you'll be able to size me up on there and decide if I'm the right guy for you or not. Uh, is 5 o'clock good or 6 o'clock better for you? Well, I mean, do you need to work in my area? I do work in here. In fact, I sold a home right around the street from you last, uh, was it two months ago on Elm Street? Did you see my for sale sign over there? Uh, I don't remember. I don't really recall. Yeah. Well, I, I work for Keller Williams. Have you heard of us? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, we're a big company. I tell you what, let me come down and show you the difference that we do versus the other agent you had before. And if you say to me, hey, this is the same crap my last agent was doing, you know, hey, I'll, I'll shake your hand and walk out of it like a gentleman. But you'll probably do what most people do and say, hey, this is night and day from what I've been doing. Derek, it makes sense for us to work together. Let's go ahead and get it sold for the most we can get today. And that process will start when we meet today at 5 or 6 better for you and your wife. Watch your 
call me back at four. Let me talk to her, and I think six would work better. All right, I'll give you a call at four. Let you know I'm on my. I'll let you know that I'm just going to start on the CMA. And I'll be on my way over there at 5.30, and I'll see you guys at 6 at your property, unless you call me otherwise. Fair enough? Yeah, that's fair enough. That'll work. Okay, and I have your contact information here. Um, I'll give you a call at this number. Is that okay? This is your cell phone? That's fine, yeah. Jimmy, thanks for your time. I'll see you tonight. All right, great. Thank you. Okay, bud. Bye-bye. <sighs> now, that was totally different than a lot of calls. This one a little bit longer. This is 10 minutes. But that guy wants to get down to North Carolina. He was very call reluctant, meaning he did not want me to do it. He was very monotone. So I, I usually make a very excited person, but I wanted to morph to his sort of situation there to get that thing done. We got the appointment. We'll go there. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not really tied to the outcome. I'm just trying to set the appointments, and then I'll try to cherry pick the ones that I think are the best ones, and the ones that don't work, we'll call ahead and see if they're okay for the price reduction. He's realistically probably 400000 so I'm going to do some comps. If I feel we're too far apart on what I think the price of it should be, but what he's asking, and there's not much room for flexibility there, like he said, 460 I'll call him ahead of time and sort of do that preemptive, like, hey, you know, these are what the comps are coming in at, um, and go from there. But uh, that's another one done. If you're looking for those kind of results, give me a call, 508-326-5320. I'll see you at the next one.